Hi, fourth grade friends. You're going to need your pencil writing notebook and your um, anchor chart of juicy words for writing today. Pause the video. Pause it if you need more time to gather those materials. All right. Well, today we're going to learn how to make our words even more interesting. Sometimes authors use boring words or the same words over and over. When we replace those words with more interesting words, our writing becomes more exciting. So we're going to read through our story or mentor text. I want you to listen and see if you can find examples of places in the text that the author uses an interesting or unique word. So our story is called Cupcakes. Finally, it was my birthday party. I had waited an excruciating 364 days for my celebration to come around again. I opened a humongous pile of perfectly wrapped gifts, played pirate adventure games with my best friends, and ate one of my mom's special birthday cupcakes. Chocolate cupcakes with chocolate chips and vanilla frosting with sprinkles. My favorite. After helping my mom clean up, I sprawled out on the couch to take a rest from all the excitement. From the corner of my eye, I could see the tray of leftover cupcakes, six of them, just sitting on a tray on the counter. The colorful sprinkles called to me, giving me an idea to squeeze one more special treat out of the day before it was over. Mom, I called out in as sweet of a voice as I could force. I just want one more thing, just one more little thing for my birthday. Mom came in with her arms crossed. First, you tell me what the one thing is. Okay, then, I said, somehow managing to sound even sweeter. Just this once, can I eat as many cupcakes as I want, please? To my surprise, my mom's eyebrows lifted, and out came the reply, Sure, she said as she threw her arms up in the air and walked out of the room. Yes, I thought to myself as I bounced off the couch and banded and bounded into the kitchen. I finished the first cupcake in 30 seconds. Well, that was cake, I thought, making myself chuckle. The second cupcake went down just as easily. The delicious taste of rich chocolate and buttery frosting was so delightful that I couldn't resist continuing. As I took a bite of the third cupcake, I mushed it around in my mouth to taste the heavenly mixture of chocolate and frosting in every corner of my mouth. The next bite was between my lips before I swallowed my last. My stomach was feeling full my taste buds begged for more. Down went the fourth cupcake and then the fifth. By the time there was only one cupcake left on the tray, I figured I might as well eat them all. As the last bite of the last cupcake went down, I congratulated myself on the accomplishment, just as my head started to spin. My stomach felt like there was a rock, no, a boulder, inside of it. It weighed me down until I slumped to the ground right there on the kitchen floor. I rested my head against the cupboard clutching my stomach with both arms and resisting the urge to gag. My mom walked in, glancing from me to the cupcake tray and back to me. Your face looks green, she finally said. Was it worth it? Kind of, I said, smirking back. Secretly, I was already planning what I could get away with, not food-related, on my next birthday. Just 364 more days. All right. There's a lot of interesting words in there, wasn't it? I really liked it. Right at the beginning, the excruciating 364 days. Or um, I bounced off the couch and bounded into the kitchen. What was... Um, one more. I can't find it. I can't remember it off the top of my head. Um... Just the general, oh, the humongous pile. There it is. Humongous pile. So, really using really interesting words, nice, juicy words. So, we're going to look at our anchor chart. So, go ahead and get that out. All right. So, using our juicy words, we want to make our words more interesting. So, go ahead and fill that in in your box. Here are some examples that I came up with on how to make it this word here went, those action words, right? went. As soon as went to racist, instead of saying they went, 
You could say they ran to recess, or they skipped, or maybe they walked slowly. I'm not getting overly crazy, right? But I'm using different words to better picture in my head how they went. How did they go? Or how did she say this? She said, I want to see that movie. She confessed. Maybe it was, could she convince herself before? She declared, I want to see that movie. Maybe she just replied, I want to see that movie. Maybe she announced it like to the whole class. Huh? I want to see that movie. Like, nice and loud. How did she say it? Or I looked out into the ocean. Instead of looked, maybe I gazed. Maybe I just quickly glimpsed at it. Maybe I stared for a really long time. I stared out at the ocean. I know I do that one whenever I get a chance to see it. Never quick glance. Uh, I always just stare out. So pause the video if you need more time to write down these examples on your anchor chart. Make sure this gets in your resource section of your notebook. All right, so now it's your turn, fourth grade friends. You're gonna look back at your story, okay, in your masterpiece section, one that we've been working on changing our parts for. Look back at places you used boring words like nice, very, sad, cool, or anything else. Or words that you use repeatedly, like she said, he said, we said, she said. So the same said all those times. Replace them with words or phrases that are more interesting. Okay? There's no set number that you need because each story is so unique. But I really want you to look through and be honest with yourself. How many can you replace? Okay? Remember keeping this in your masterpiece section. If you need to, you can just erase the word and replace it right in there. Or you can cross it off and rewrite it up above if you have room for that. But I know our pages are getting very full. Okay. So if you finish before your 15 minute timer's up, go ahead and work on your more stories draft, okay? Let me know if you have any questions. Otherwise, I will talk to you soon.